Do you want to come sit with mommy? Yeah. Hi, mom. Hi, babe. What do we? I'm filming a video. You gonna eat next to me? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is the one box challenge hosted by Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home. Happy birthday Rachel! Um, for her birthday she asked YouTubers to join her in this challenge in filling up one box with items that are going to go to donation to the thrift store. Basically decluttering your home. Such perfect timing because as you guys know I'm in the process of trying to do a daily declutter. Unfortunately, it hasn't been daily, but I'm still going to go through all 30 days and just try to film as frequently as I can. So it's perfect timing because not only did I get one box, but I actually was able to fill two boxes and two black bags. And we're not even done decluttering our home. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you those right now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some of those items because obviously I probably will not be able to go through everything because it's a lot of stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the bigger items and uh, show you what we're going to be donating to the thrift store. You may have already seen some of these items if you've been watching my decluttering videos. If not, I'm going to put the playlist on the cards somewhere above. I never know where it is on the screen. Anyway. I'm going to put the playlist on the card so you can check out my decluttering videos and you can see where some of these items came from in the house. Sorry I keep looking down. My toddler is like cr crawling under my tripod <gasps> and making sure she doesn't like move the camera too much. You need to see in the day. Come on. Come here. Come say hi. Can you say hi to the camera? Hi. Hi. Say hi. I'm eating mashed potatoes. <laughs> Okay, sit right here, okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and get started on showing you the items. The first thing that I'm going to show you guys is this portfolio. It's called a crop and style paper taper. And it's just a portfolio for scrap paper. My neighbor actually gave this to me um, because she wanted to declutter her crafting stuff. And I thought I was going to use it, but I'm actually not. So I'm just going to go ahead and donate it to the thrift store so that somebody else who loves crafting um, can give it a new home. The second pretty big item is this. I don't even know the camera will get the entire thing. But it's one of those little floaties for babies in the pool. It used to have a little shade on top, but it doesn't. I don't know where that went. It might have flown away. We get a lot of winds here. Uh, but obviously, as you can see, my toddler is not a baby anymore. So we're going to go ahead and donate that. We're also going to donate an extra dog bowl because we have three dogs and three bowls, but we've learned that we just need two bowls, maybe even just one. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I also bought this cookbook holder at a thrift store, but we didn't end up using it. So I'll go ahead and donate it back. I have this 2017 Star Wars calendar, and I know it's not 2017 anymore. Well, it's almost not 2017 anymore. But I figured if somebody likes Star Wars, they can use the images. And the next item that I'm going to donate is this little, like, chandelier type thing. I got it for Halloween one year, but I don't really know what to do with it. Or I don't really know what to do with it or how to use this in my decor, so I'm just going to go ahead and donate that. We're going to donate these chunklets because Vivian's feet are too big for them. I got them at Daiso. We're also going to donate this bowl. Um, I didn't have any use for it. I bought it for one of the girls' birthday at the dollar store. So I'm going to go ahead and donate and hopefully somebody else will have good use for it. Donate these pairs of shoes because I've give them, given them a good life, good long life already and maybe somebody else could use them. Also donating this little penguin mat. Um, it's a penguin mat that I use. I, 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 Hold on, honey. Okay. It's a penguin mat that I used for when I would give the baby a bath and I would kneel on it so that my knees were not on the 
floor, but she pretty much takes her own baths now. And then when I do help her out, it's not for long periods of time anymore, like when she was a baby. So I'm going to go ahead and donate that. I'm also donating this paper holder. Um, I have no use for it anymore. It's just like a little portfolio paper holder. I I'm also getting rid of these little plastic bowls. We've known, we've noticed that she doesn't really use them as much. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of those. Okay, can you put them here? I'm also getting rid of these molds for uh, chocolate lollipops, the melting chocolates. I use them for a baby shower once. If you can see, it says baby. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then these are like little shoes. So I don't need those anymore. I'm also getting rid of this. I'm one mold and this one. It's like a little rattle. My daughter is donating this sweater. She doesn't need it anymore. She gave it a good long life. And so in the kitchen declutter video, you might have seen some of these. So we have extra um, cups, like measuring cups. We also had an extra potato peeler, an extra spatula. This is like an egg. Like a little egg beater thing. We also had an extra um, lemon squeezer and extra measuring spoons. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate all of those. So there's a couple other items in this box that I'm not gonna show you. Most of it is like bedding. Um, there's a reusable shopping bag and a couple more pieces of clothing. I'm going to go ahead and move on to... Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the second box, which I have on this side. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is a comforter. I bought a twin trundle bag, like a day bed, and it came with this comforter. I don't really particularly like the style, so I'm going to go ahead and donate it, and hopefully somebody else can use it. We're also going to donate these swimming goggles because my daughters don't want them, as well as the soccer ball. So my girls have been joining in in the process as well. We have this cute little pair of pants. It's a 24 months. It's a little bit hard to have white, but it's actually not that bad. It just needs a good wash. We have this little pair of shoes that didn't fit my daughter, so we're going to go ahead and donate those. We're also going to be donating this um, little speaker and it just connects to your computer. It is battery operated. Woo! Good cat. It is battery operated and that's why I don't want to keep it because I was going through a lot of batteries. I just want something that's rechargeable or can connect directly to the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and donate that. We have some more bedding items here. Um, it's just like a flat sheet. We have a second soccer bow because I have twins. Um, this is a shirt that I purchased and I no longer want to use it so I'm going to go ahead and donate this and it's by the brand Charlotte Russe. So hopefully somebody else will like it and give it good wear. We're also donating this um, bathroom set so it's Paris. It's a soap dispenser and like a toothbrush holder, so it's really pretty. The reason we're donating it is because we completely changed the girls' bathroom from somewhat Paris theme, not really, there was only a couple Paris things, to full-blown mermaid theme. And I'm going to do a video on that shortly um, because I want to show you some of the DIYs I did in there and kind of what we did with that bathroom. It's like one of the only rooms in the house that's actually completely done in terms of decoration. I'm also going to be donating this makeup bag. Um, I was subscribed to Ipsy and they send you a makeup bag every month. I don't need that many makeup bags, so I'm going to be donating this and some of the other ones I've already given away to friends. There's just a little brush. I have no use for it. So I'm going to go ahead and give that one. Another cute little pair of shoes, they're Cherokee size 7. My daughter has really chunky feet so it's really hard to fit her in shoes so I actually have to buy her wide shoes. Here is another little part of that um, Paraset. So it's actually three pieces together. So somebody will get a full blown Paraset. 
when I go to the thrift store, it's hard to find like full sets of bathroom stuff, so you have to kind of piece it together. So it's kind of cool. I get to donate a full set so somebody will find it and hopefully use it. It also comes with a soap holder, so actual full set. Let's see what else is in that box that I can show you. There's another pair of shoes. These are some frozen chanclas or sandals. Um, but I think that's it for that box. There's like a couple hair other hair bows in there. Um, there's two of these, which are the ones that go around like the seatbelt for kids. It's a little, it's a little stitch. It goes around the seatbelt so that um, it doesn't hurt them like around their neck. So I have two of these, and then I have a little plug-in that we're not using anymore. So somebody can use it. But that is it for the second box. I'm going to move on to All right, some of so the bags. So moving on to one of the bags that I have here. There's a bunch of hangers in there. So I'm donating a ton of hangers. I won't show you those because it's boring, right? I think she's also donating this, which is um, a little bracelet stand. As you can see, it is a little broken, but I'm sure you can do something to fix that. It's, otherwise, it's in pretty nice shape. Maybe you could try. I don't know. Anyways, maybe someone will get it and fix that. But it is for bracelets and like rings and all of your jewelry. She's also donating this little Pokemon box thing. It came with like little toys, but it's a cool little container that someone can put stuff in. My daughter's also decided to donate the little Elsa doll. Um, I guess they don't want to play with Elsa anymore. They're not really into Frozen so much anymore. They're growing out of it. Totally fine. I'm hoping there's another little girl out there who will see this at the thrift store and be able to play with it and give it lots of love. It's actually in really great shape. Gold Rush. My daughter had to play Peter Burn. Burnett, thank you. My daughter's over there telling me. And so um, she bought these shoes to go with her outfit. So I'm guessing she's not going to wear them anymore. So she's going to donate them. So the other one's in the bag somewhere. They're also going to donate these cute little cow, little non-slip socks. Super adorable. Somebody will give them a really good home. They're also going to get rid of this shirt. I think that they thought they would fit it. It's an extra large 1416, but it's a little big for them and they don't want to wait to grow into it. But it's a super cute shirt. It's sheer. It's got this little black um, collar and black lining on the button. So somebody will give it a good home. They're also giving these pajamas because they've outgrown most of their pajamas. So these are Shopkin pajamas, which reminds me, I need to find them pajamas. They're also getting rid of a couple stuffed animals, which I'm really, really, really happy about secretly because we have so many stuffed animals. So, they're getting rid of stuffed animals. They're getting rid of a little book, Happy Valentine's Day Mouse. Also in that bag is another Ipsy makeup bag. This is stuff that came from my room. These are Fitbit bands, so I actually ended up changing my Fitbit to the Charge 2 that I actually bought off of one of my coworkers. I had the first generation of Fitbit, and I had bought these bands to use them, um, and I used two of them, but it still had two brand new ones, so they're right there. So I'm going to go ahead and donate those, and someone, if someone wants to use them, perfect. I'm also donating this statement necklace. Actually, really cute. I just I haven't worn it in a very long time and so I figured you know let's donate it someone might wear it more often than I do and I have a lot of statement necklaces we're gonna move on to the last bag let's go ahead and so do I that have now. this last bag next to me because I'm finding it that it's hard to reach down at the bottom so let's go ahead and take some of the stuff out from this bag um this bag I think my daughter put together so I'm not really sure what's in here so let's go ahead and check it out so first I see is just a pair of shoes they're little Cat and Jack shoes. Uh, you know, they're in used condition, but I feel like they still have life left in them, so we're going to go ahead and donate those. Um, the, this is a pair of boots, if I can find the other one, that I bought for them for, again, that presentation for, uh, oh my god, Gold Rush. My brain's, like, not functioning right now. For Gold Rush, I bought them this pair of boots, so I'm guessing they have no more use for us. So we're going to go ahead and donate those. We're also going to donate, they're going to donate this pair of boots, which I, here's a pair. 
So a couple different pairs of shoes. They did scuff them up a little bit, but I feel like they still have life left as well. My daughter's gonna donate this dress, which I'm super surprised because she loves this dress. It was my favorite Easter dress. It's her favorite Easter dress. Why are you donating it? Does it fit? It doesn't fit anymore, so we're gonna go ahead and donate this dress. Um, this one hurts a little. I like this one. These glittery Tom shoes. They have some good wear in them, but I feel like they still have life left. Why are you donating all your shoes? Thank you. She's gonna donate this Cat and Jack large um, t-shirt. Why are you donating this one? It's just a button down little like jean type ombre type shirt. You like that? I'm asking her why she's donating all of this stuff. Folding the clothes to the side because the clothes I'm actually not going to take to a thrift store. I'm going to give them to a co-worker. Yes ma'am. You want what? Passy? Can you ask Sophie for Passy please? It's over there on the table. As I was saying, um, I'm folding the clothes to the side because I'm actually not going to take those to a thrift store. I have a co-worker who has friends at church who have younger kids and she actually recently asked me if I would bring some clothes that the girls outgrow so that, um, you know, she can share with these families who are in need. And honestly, I think that's a perfect cause. So I'm going to go ahead and fold those and put them to the side and give them to her. But this is another dress that my daughter is donating. Super cute dress. Oh, but it does have a little tear there. Maybe someone can sew it. Um, most of their clothes are actually thrift store finds. I love thrifting their clothes. Some of the Cat and Jack ones we did buy at Target, but for the most part, they're thrift store finds. We do have another pair of boots. She thinks she's funny. We do have another pair of boots that were from that presentation. Um the gold rush and so she used those she's getting rid of this little headband which I'm also going to put to the side here for those little girls she's donating this dress which is an acceleration dress super cute dress I'm going to go ahead and fold this up and put it here she's donating her LA Dodgers number one foam finger which is fine with me to take this space Donating a couple little pieces of jewelry, costume jewelry. She's donating this Coca-Cola little bat thing. More stuffed animals. Math flashcards. Little stocking. I don't know what these are, but she's donating them. And then I told her to get rid of this because I hate this thing. I don't like it. Great working. And then why Noah chose the dove, this book. That is it for all of the items in this bag. We're actually going to be taking them to the thrift store right now. Um, I do want to start decluttering some other spaces. Again, if you haven't watched my decluttering videos, please make sure to check those out. Um, Rachel, once again, happy birthday. Thank you so much for hosting this collaboration. Um, if you would like to see the other videos, I will link either the playlist or her video down below, which can lead you to the playlist. I will also make sure to link her video down below so you can go ahead and check it out. She does a lot of mommy lifestyle videos, thrift hauls. I love following her, so I'm glad she hosted this collaboration. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like decluttering. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And thank you guys so much for watching.